King Cobra vs Snake People often compare Snake vs King Cobra in terms of Venom, who will win the fight between them. Snake or King Cobra has unique characteristics that bring the snake quite different from others. Few animals strike as much fear into people as venomous snakes, although the chances of running into a venomous snake, much less being bitten and dying from the toxin injected into one's body are minuscule compared to dying from cancer or heart disease. So in this video, we're gonna discuss even King Cobra is afraid of this snake killer. The video is gonna be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The Eastern Brown Snake is extremely aggressive, for example, when a cobra spreads its hood but sees that a person is not approaching it, a cobra will not attack. The Rattlesnake warns others with sound for peaceful purposes, even the Spitting Cobra does not attack immediately. However, as soon as the Brown Snake sees a person or another trespasser in its territory, it attacks immediately. It doesn't warn its victims and doesn't try to scare them away. It's strange because producing venom consumes a lot of energy and it's not an easy process for the body. That's why most reptiles conserve energy and resort to biochemical weapons only as the last resort. Moreover, many venomous snakes when defending themselves try to use as little venom as possible and even shoot blanks sometimes to scare the enemy away. But the eastern brown snake often tries to inject as much venom as possible into the victim's blood. Its venom is about 30 times stronger than that of the king cobra. The antidote can save a person only if it's administered within half an hour of the bite, but even then, there's no guarantee. In total, about 100 species of poisonous snakes live in Australia, but 80% of all the people who get bitten are bitten by the eastern brown snake. So the question is, why is it that the cobra is considered the queen of the snakes? Objectively, it loses from its Australian competitor in every way. The thing is that the coolest cobra called the king cobra actually hunts other snakes, especially the venomous ones. On average, the length of the king cobra is about 4 meters, but it can also reach 5.5 meters and even more. It lives throughout southern and southeast Asia, where it terrifies other snakes, once in a while, the snake also snacks on someone warm-blooded, although the reptile is relatively light. It's the largest of all venomous snakes on the planet. But of course, the main weapon of the king cobra is venom. It's a powerful neurotoxin, as in the case with the taipan. It paralyzes the transmission of signals along with the nervous system, which leads to longer rest. What does a confrontation between king cobra and another snake look like? It's an epic duel. Of course, the other reptile tries to fight back, bites and even aims for the aggressor's eyes, but the king cobra has excellent resistance to venom. The cobra usually releases several doses of its venom at once. In one bite, it can release up to 600 milligrams, which is dangerous even to an adult Indian elephant. However, not all animals are defenseless against the king cobra. There's a known case of when a python managed to suffocate the cobra before the venom had its final effect. Probably for this reason, some of the snakes prefer to act at a distance, we're talking about the spitting cobra. When this cobra notices an aggressor or just a creature that it doesn't like, it rises, spreads its hood, and if the distance allows, it shoots a jet of poison right at the enemy. The distance of the shot is up to 2 meters, the snake aims right at the eye. On contact with the mucous membrane of the eye, the venom begins to damage the cornea, which causes severe pain and leads to the aggressor, leaving the snakes alone. Sometimes the damage to the eye is so severe that it leads to blindness. In order to surely hit the enemy, some cobras have learned to spit in small bursts and if they have a poisonous machine gun in their mouths. For example, the black-necked spitting cobra can shoot venom up to 28 times in a row. The fluid travels about 150 meters in one second. This is accomplished thanks to the contraction of special muscles that push the venom out of the cobra's fans. What's interesting is that this mechanism exists in several species of the cobra in different parts of the world. Snakes are also excellent swimmers, but they usually live on land. Only those few species that live in swampy areas or on the banks of bodies of water swim on a regular basis. There are also sea snakes. They spend most of their time in the water. Surprisingly, one of them is the champion in terms of the strength of its venom, the belcher snake. Its venom is the strongest, it's 100 times more venomous than that of the taipan, leaving the cobra and the rattlesnake far behind. The venom includes a toxin that destroys muscles. What's interesting is that the snake is not long, ranging from half a meter to a meter in length. 
It lives in the Pacific Ocean and is found on the coast of America, Australia, the Philippines, and several other countries. Of course, the belcher snake adapted to life underwater, it easily dives, bites, and hunts its prey underwater. Like all snakes, it breathes atmospheric air but can hold its breath for up to 8 minutes. Its body is flattened on the sides, so the entire body acts like one large fin. Only a few milligrams of the venom is enough to overcome a thousand people. Why does a sea snake need such strong venom? The reason lies in the type of prey that it hunts. Metabolism in the circulatory system of fish is completely different than that of land creatures. Therefore, the most common fish can be many times more resistant to venom than a much larger and stronger animal. Since the belcher snake hunts fish, it was forced to develop such a powerful weapon. Usually, poisonous snakes don't grow too big, but the taipan is the exception. On average, it reaches 2 meters in length, but once in a while, you can come across a real giant, a snake, this 3 meters long. That's 3 meters of very strong muscles. With their help, the taipan can move at lightning speed. The speed of the taipans below is 3 to 3 and a half seconds. But the main thing is, of course, the venom. The taipan is the world's most venomous land snake. In general living, things need venom for one of two things, either for self-defense or for hunting. For hunting, it's important for the venom to work quickly, but it doesn't need to be strong. As such, if a snake doesn't have too many large predators living in its area, its venom is usually fast-acting, but not too strong. When analyzing the taipan's venom, you get the impression that it needs to defend itself against real monsters or tyrannosaurs. The taipan's venom is incredibly strong, the cobra's bite is dangerous even for an elephant. Yeah, that's right, that big, big, gigantic elephant. Well, the taipan's venom is 50 times stronger than the cobra's. You heard me right, 50 freaking times. The venom is glands contained between 120 and 400 milligrams of the toxic substance. The snake controls the amount of venom it injects and uses about 40 milligrams per bite. Theoretically, this amount is enough to kill tens of thousands of mice at the same time. As for people, there's only one way to survive a taipan's bite – to inject an antidote within minutes after the bite. Even about 2 mg of venom has a destructive effect on the human body, not to mention 40. But how does the venom actually work? It's a neurotoxin and blocks the transmission of nerve signals because of which the lungs simply stop working. Bye-bye lungs! There is also a number of other side effects, for example, damage to the blood vessels and internal organs. It's precise because of this complex action that the venom is so dangerous. The taipan is aggressive and spiteful and immediately attacks with the slightest annoyance. The cobra is much less aggressive and its venom is not as strong. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.